Hi everyone, this is Adam Virgil, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a contest where you randomly generate the winners. So here's our contest sheet, or our display sheet, where I want there to be 11 winners, and this is, contest is on Twitter, so we want their Twitter handles to appear here, and this is an area where we're going to randomly generate um, the winners, for the IDs of the winners. So let's see the data that we have. If I go to my list, we have a list of Twitter handles, or these could be names of people or something else, and each person has a unique identifier or ID. Now there are two important things about these identifiers. The first is that they're unique for each handle or each person, and the second is that they are numbers. So each of these numbers um, is, is simply a number. It's not, it's not text, it's not numbers and text. Um, and that'll be important later on. Now, the first thing that we got, we want to do is we want to turn this into a table. It looks like a table, but right now it's just um, data inside of cells. The way that we can create a table is I'm going to select cell A1 and hold down Control and click A to select all this data and go to Insert, Table. And my table does have headers. That's what ID and Twitter handle are. So let's click OK. And now we can see these little filter buttons and we have a table. Now we can start to do our calculations to randomly generate these winners. So let's go to our winner sheet. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're, want, is we're going to want to get the handle that or the name that associates with the ID that is in this cell, which will be randomly generated. To get the handle, we can use a formula called xlookup. So we'll go equals x xlookup. Now this will only exist in Office 365 and beyond. If you don't have xlookup, you can also use index and match to accomplish this. I'm sure that there are many videos on index and match. Um, actually, I might go through that one too. But for xlookup, the first thing that we need is a lookup value. That lookup value is the ID that ultimately is in this cell comma. Now we need the lookup array. In other words, where are we going to find this value um, to associate with what we want to get back? And we're going to find that in our list. So we're going to look for the value that's in that cell in our list of IDs, table one ID, comma. And what we want to bring back when we find that ID is the name or the Twitter handle that associates with that ID number. And we can close the parentheses and click enter. And right now we have an error. But if we type in an ID in this cell, let's say ID 5, now we get the handle or the name that associates with that ID. So if we go to our list, we should say that ID, we should see that ID number 5 associates with that name, and it does. Great. Now, in case you don't have xlookup, we can use a function called index and match, or it's two functions. It equals index, and they work very similarly. Now index is what do you want to bring back into this cell? Well, what we want to bring back ultimately is the person's name. Great. Comma. Now it asks for a row number. So it says, now which row do you want to get this name from? If I simply type in the number 5 and close off the parentheses and click enter, it's going to give me the name from row 5. Now, if I type in row 7 in the formula, it'll give me the name from row 7. However, we don't want to type in the number here. We want to get the row for the ID that is in this cell. So to do that, we know that we want to get back the Twitter handle, but for the row number, we want to match, open parenthesis, now we want to match the ID that is in this cell, comma, with the ID that is in our list. And then comma zero, it has to be an exact match, and close the parenthesis. So what we're saying now is we want to get back the Twitter handle, and for the row of the handle that we want, we want to get the row for whichever the ID is in our winners um, in, this, in this data set. So Let's click enter. Again, it says NA, but if we choose row 5, 
what we're saying is we want to get the Twitter handle for the row, which is row 6, where the ID that we type in right here is equal to this ID here. So we typed in ID number 5, and now it's looking for ID number 5, which is right here, which happens to be in row 6. And we said that we want to get the Twitter handle back for that row. So we're getting that name back. So that's how you do it in both different ways. They'll both work. Um, for the XLOOKUP, I'm just going to copy this formula and paste it into all these cells. I'm going to remove these IDs. And now to get a random ID, we can use a function called ran between. We can go equals ran between, open parenthesis. And now all we need is two numbers. So we get to get a random ID between the numbers 1 and comma 100. We can just type in a 1 comma 100 and close a parenthesis and click enter. And it'll give us a random number between those two. And if we copy and paste it, or if we click enter anywhere, it'll just regenerate these IDs. We can just say, oh, I want to rerun the formula. And it'll just regenerate all the random numbers. Now, if we look at our list, we can see that we have 274 IDs. And that's fine. We can do that. We can say we want a random number between 1 and 274. And that'll work. But what if you just wanted to say, I want the random, I want a random ID between the minimum and the maximum number of IDs that we have? Then we can go ran between, and for the bottom number, we can say min open parenthesis, which is minimum. So for the bottom number, we want it to be the minimum, go to our list, the minimum in our list of IDs, which will be the number one in this case. Then comma for our top number in this ran between function, we want it to be the max, open parenthesis, of our, all of our IDs in this list. We can close off these parentheses and click enter. And now we're generating a random number between the minimum and the maximum numbers in this list. And we can copy this formula and paste it into all these cells. And there we go. We just created a bunch of random numbers uh, from the minimum ID to the maximum ID. And here are all the Twitter handles that associate with those. And those would be the winners. If you wanted to rerun, the contest, you can click enter again anywhere, and all the numbers will rerun. The only thing that you have to look out for is you might have duplicate IDs, and that wouldn't be okay, so you'd have to rerun it if you had duplicates. But that's how you that's how I created this sheet, um, and I hope that this tutorial was helpful. Um, please let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.